I, I, okay, I don't know. Bye. <laughs> After. After. <laughs> Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I'm Just fine. fine. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm working um, today. You worked all day. Yeah, all day. Great. Well, it's, 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 it's hot night. Ooh. It's a hot night, definitely. Probably it's going to rain. They have diagnosed or predicted that it was gonna rain i know i am in my in my house no no rain <laughs> it doesn't look like raining oh no, i don't know mm. probably hopefully yes hi miss herrera dr herrera good oh, evening <laughs> oh, good evening teacher <laughs> How are you? I, I am I am a little uh, a little sad because I I didn't finish the the platform platform the platform I I got only the nine, 93% but you but, still have time Yes but you still have this the, week and 3 days from the next week yeah. Oh. Probably on the weekend you'll be able to. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hope. Let's, I hope it. Yes. <laughs> Let's hope for that. That's great. Well, some people are a little bit late today. I see. We only have five mm -hmm. students. Yes. Uh huh. Miss Gutierrez. Miss Elizabeth. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How was your day? Um, very busy. <laughs> very busy. I, I think, I think. I feel like... you. <laughs> yes. I hear you. Okay. But it's time to rest. It's time to unwind, to think about something else, to relax by learning English. That's great. <laughs> Okay, it's a good unwinding activity. Okay, so I'm glad that you're all here, that you are fine, that you're okay. okay. Yes, we still have Mr. Miranda, Mr. Alejandro Miranda. Is that a milk cart? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Mr. Milker. Hello? Problems with his connection, probably. Mr. Juarez. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing great. How about you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm very tired, but my joy. Um, I'm busy, but, but now it's I, I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm at home already. <laughs> OK, yes. that's nice. Miss Gracinia Hernandez, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing fine. How about you? Fine, too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a difficult life. <laughs> yes. Okay. Very difficult. I know. But here we are. I am alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Yeah. Yes. Actually, yeah, that's a very cheerful song from Celine Dion. If you could ever have the opportunity to watch the, I, I think it's a live concert in which she has that song. Mm -hmm. That's yes. great. Well, let's get started. Let's get started. Oh, somebody has to say good evening. Who would like to say good evening? No? That's it. Ah, Mr. Medina. He's just joining us. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How was so, your day? Uh, as as really, usual. <laughs> oh, really nice. I collect uh, some taxes today. Nice. Yeah. 
That's good. In the first two days of the job, you know, that's that's good. That's great. That's great. Good to hear that. All right, let's get started. Good evening. Good hey, evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, everybody. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, maybe his microphone. All right. Let's get started. And on this class, well, the objectives mainly are to express permissions, obligations, and prohibitions, or permissions, prohibitions, and obligations. Obviously, the main topic on this unit is the use of modal auxiliary, right? In English, it's very easy because <laughs> to express, you know, possibility, to express permission, prohibition, or obligation, we only need a modal verb, okay? So it's a verb that helps, okay, that supports a verb in order to express this type of situation. So we're going to get started by focusing, okay, on permission. Actually, we have these two structures, yes? To express, to say that something is permitted, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, we have some other words like may I, when you ask for permission, which is the more polite of the most polite way to say, may I? <laughs> so it usually happens that um, you use this word when you want to show a lot of respect, right? But in this opportunity, yes? Yes, in this opportunity, we're going to use these two structures. You can, you are allowed. That is when definitely you're saying there's no problem. You have the permission to do that, right? For example, at work, you are allowed to leave whenever you want. No, <laughs> you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> you, you have to respect the schedule, right? Uh, parents usually tell their kids, their children, their teenagers, you're not allowed to watch TV after 9 p.m., for example, or you're not allowed to use a computer uh, in your room alone because, you know, internet sometimes, and kids don't make really good decisions, right? Or you're not allowed to be on the cell phone after 9 or 10 p.m. if you're not doing homework, right? Or you're not allowed to play so this will depend definitely of the context, right? But in here, we're gonna use them for signs, you know? When we are driving, we usually have these signs and some other signs of mainly now, because of the pandemic, you see the signs, the letreritos, you know? That say, you're not allowed to enter the restaurant without a mask, mm -hmm. so. Usually they say uh, a mask is a must. So you are forced, you are obliged. So it's an obligation. You have to wear a mask, right? And so on and so on. Definitely depending on the context, there might be some permissions, some obligations or some prohibitions. Let me get something from the menu just to write down on this chart. Wait a minute. If you have any question at any time, you just let me know, okay? Don't feel bad about asking questions because asking questions is a good way of learning. Let me just, oh, here. Mm, let me get a, I think I'm gonna get a drawing. Yeah, I'm gonna get a drawing. This one, okay. So we're gonna use these two structures, can, and allowed you are allowed he is allowed yes here definitely is the conjugation of the verb be you say i am not allowed or i am allowed right so 
If you see, this is very similar to the prohibition, right? In this case, for permission is positive and for prohibition is in negative, yes? For permission, you can turn left here. For prohibition, you cannot or you can't turn left here. So you're not allowed to do that. For prohibition, you are allowed to pass here. For prohibition, you are not, you aren't allowed to pass here, yes? Example, I like to talk about work because, you know, we are all related. <laughs> so there are many prohibitions at work and there are very few permissions. <laughs> For instance, at work, are you allowed to eat? In the office? Inside? Inside? No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Only the coffee. <laughs> exactly. So there's no permission, right? So it's a prohibition. Yes. You say, I'm not allowed to drink coffee. I'm not allowed to eat inside my office. Yes? yes. So, but let's say to use the cell phone for personal calls. Mm. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. Is it? I'm it's not, not allowed. allowed. I'm not allowed to mm -hmm. make phone calls to I'm make personal. Allowed. So it's a prohibition. Yes, mm -hmm. but sometimes, from time to time, I can make a personal phone call. Yes, or I am allowed to call on my cell phone mm -hmm. if it is lunch time, right? If it, yes. if it is my break, my coffee break, right? <laughs> uh huh. So that definitely will depend, right? Because not all of us have the same restrictions or the same prohibitions, the same permissions at work. Some are stricter, probably, some are not. Okay. So when you are at a hospital, there are a lot of restrictions, a lot of prohibitions. A lot of. Huh? A lot. Yeah. Yes, you're not allowed to take photos. You're not allowed to enter without a permission, right? So there are so many provisions, of course. And permissions that are yes. very few, that are very, very few because of security, right? So that will depends yes. of, the, of the place, of the context, right? And obligations, this definitely will depend. You say, oh, in my work, I have to be early. Mm -hmm. I have to be on time. Or I have got to. Mm -hmm. This is the contraction of have got to. So the two ways are possible. Yes? To show obligation. I have to be on time. I have to ask for permission if I need to live early. I have to send an email informing that I'm going <clears throat> to be uh, some minutes late. So I'm relating all this situations to work right but this will depend definitely if you're talking about home probably in your home there are some rules you say no i make the rules <laughs> but probably you make your own rules but the system <laughs> obligates you <laughs> to do some things right so you would say i have to pay bills I have to pay taxes. So yeah. definitely we have to do a lot of things, right? Or you say, yeah. oh, I'm going to make my own rules, but I also follow the rules. So I have to be, uh, I don't know, <clears throat> attentive. I have to be at home when my family needs me. I have to take care of my children. So you say, oh, I have to because I feel that it's necessary, right? So you you can say that as well. Or you say, I have got to. I have got to probably is not that common, but it's also possible, okay? So permission mm -hmm. and prohibition. Permission is something you can do, something you are allowed to. And prohibition is the opposite, it's in negative. Something you cannot do you are not supposed to do, okay? So something you are not allowed to do. And obligation, something that you think you have to, or you have got to. 
Yes, is this clear? Yes. Do you have any question? Um, teacher, yes. uh, these structures is in, in sentence. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. But is... Um, in questions? Can in question? You just put the can at the beginning, for example. Uh -huh. If okay. I want to ask you that if it is possible, if you have permission in your work to... To oh. watch videos, for example. Can you watch mm -hmm. videos in your office? Are you Can allowed I? to watch videos in your office? No. <laughs> Are you allowed to do TikTok? <laughs> yeah. So it depends, right? Can only goes at the beginning. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. And for sure. the... You yeah. are, yes? Uh, excuse me. Uh, is the same permission when you say um may i come in, in that is place or not? yes that is when you want to ask for permission when you want to request uh -huh. that is the most formal okay. way to do it may i oh, because okay. it's very mm -hmm. polite yes no, but okay. if you have already good confidence with your boss or with your superior you can say can i mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you okay. want to sound very, very, very formal, then you say, may I? Okay. Mm -hmm. Or am I allowed to? <laughs> For example, yeah. if you need to leave, uh, let's say, one hour earlier from your job and you mm -hmm. talk to your boss, you say, um, am, am I allowed to leave one hour earlier today because I need to take my son to the hospital or whatever? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Somebody else? No? Sure? No, teacher. All right. I'll clear my drawings then. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh-huh. Here there are some signs. This is what I was telling you at the beginning. Of course, you can ask for permission. You can express permission. You can express obligations. You can express prohibition in any context not only in this context but this exercise is focused on the interpretations of some international signs okay and we are going to try to find the explanation what do you think this international signs mean there are some meanings here right match a sign with the correct meaning then compare with a partner the possible meanings are no playing ball wear hard hats this is usually a sign that we find in construction sites or in factories where hard hats you know are mandatory are an obligation swimming aloud drinking water do not touch fasten seat belts not bicycles and recyclable actually this is something i guess this is the sign for recycling this is very, very common now because we are supposed to separate, right? Plastic, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yes, paper. ordinary paper, ordinary garbage, glass, cans, right? Mm -hmm. We are supposed to. Actually, maybe El Salvador laws uh, <laughs> regarding the environments are very, very weak because in other countries, people get into legal problems if they don't separate the trash. But in here, I do it because I don't want to continue killing the environment. But in my house, it's been a very difficult, very difficult job because I always like separate that. No, that doesn't go there. Put it there. Get another bag. But it's really hard. And I only live with one person. <laughs> it's my husband. <laughs> Imagine in the houses where many people live. And in my job, we have three different um, baskets for different mm -hmm. types of material, like the ordinary trash that can decompose, you know, rest of food, rest of um, what, fruits and stuff like that. And the other one is for can, and the other one is for uh, plastic. But at least the kiddos are learning that that's the way we have to do it. 
So, and I'm just emphasizing this one because next Friday is the day of the earth, is the date of yes. the planet. Yes. yes. So we're going to try to interpret. Yes. And this is the example. Number one means you are allowed to touch something or you're not allowed to touch something. For example, this one. Yes. If you see this circle, that means no. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> sorry okay so i'm going to send you to a group and you're going to discuss try to use you can you are allowed you cannot you're not allowed or you have okay. to yes okay yes first yes. here we go i'm gonna make yes three groups today because we are a few people Hello, Mr. Miranda. We we have to to do some expressions, some some phrases. Okay, the okay. number one is the letter the letter E. Okay. Do not touch. No, do not touch. Okay. Number, the number two. Two is the number. The letter Amy, hello. Streaming allow, okay. Streaming allow. Letter is C. C, okay. In... Number three. three is number is letter B. We are hard. Hot. Okay. Okay. Number three, letter B. Number four is the H. Letter H. Recyclable. Recyclable. Number five. Number five is the. Um, <sighs> hey, hey. Letter F. 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 Fantasy bills. Bill. Letter D. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Number six. Number eight. Now the, it's like. The a. G. G, okay. The bicycle. Number seven. Number seven water. Water. D. D, okay. Number eight. Drinking water. In, and number eight, football. Eight, no playable. No playing football, number eight, exactly. Okay. Eight. Yeah. Now, now it says write sentence about the meaning of each, each scene, say, where you might see each one. then compare in groups okay but uh, the teachers say that we have to make sentence with permission obligation and what was the other number a permission and the ball. part b write sentences about the meaning of each scene Say that you might see each one, then compare in groups. 
Oh. Now we have to to make sentences. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, there is the example. Number one means you aren't allowed to touch something or you might see the scene in a gift shop or a museum. Ah, is this uh, number of me? You are in the logo to put something in a gift, gift shop or a museum. Mm. Well. The second ah. uh, it could be you are allowed to to swimming at, um, yeah you are allowed to swimming the second one you are allowed como que the fish the fish is in magic is 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 complain uh, a the the letter and uh, I don't know, no sé cómo decir. Uh, ir viendo la imagen y, y luego ir viendo aquí la letra que, que corresponde con de acuerdo de, de acuerdo a la imagen. Is correct or oh, no? Oh, I think we have to yes. read a and sentence. Then, uh, you can say a sentence. Uh -huh. yeah. uh, with okay. In, in... Uh, using uh um you are allowed or you can you can see some obligation or you are you understanding Marco? Hello. Yes. Uh -huh. um, I saw it. Okay, Eliana. Um, Give me a sentence. Whatever you, about all all the icons. You might, you might, you can. <laughs> yes, la confusión. Uh -huh. If you might, what? You might see the sign is a, is a use in your, in your company is look, is obligation. Yes, but you don't have to say it's obligation. It's in the you mean in your sentence. For example, uh, when you fly, you have to use you can use and the number. Correct. Yeah, I think it's correct. 
to the most set is you have to drink water. You can drink in water. For mm -hmm. permission, you can. 37? Drinking water. Drinking. But you have to get water. Uh -huh. Yes. And the number eight. You can play in ball. Yeah, this is you can play ball. Or you are not allowed playing ball. <laughs> Okay. Have to. You have to uh, drink or. It's a obligation. No, it's a prohibition. It's a permission. Or because uh, drinking water, no, no, it's a prohibition. Ni, ni a permission. It's an obligation. <laughs> no, it's a permission. You. Um, you can drink water. Ah, you can. Mm -hmm. You can drink you water. Drink water. Um, uh, number eight. Uh, the ball. Ah, uh, no playing ball. Is it a prohibition? You, you can't, can't you can play you, ball here. You can play can. play ball. You can play ball. Can play can't play ball. Uh, there is no playing is play. The, you mm -hmm. can play. The verb is in in his in its base form. I I think I, I think because it's a uh, tent. You can't play ball here. Yeah. You can't play ball. Hello, playing ball here. But it is a prohibition. And then you, you have to use can't. Uh, it's a prohibition. I have a question. Okay. What is In, your question? What time do you use? Um, you've got to. It's similar what? to you have to. Um, it's, it's the same. You uh, have to or you have got to. I believe that uh, the... I believe that you can use uh, uh, I know that you can use the 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 gold in United Kingdom. That's right. It is more common in British. But it's the same. Uh, it's it's the same yes. as you have to or you have uh, got to. In, in British Exactly. Okay. You say I have hard. I have to work hard or I have to go to work hard. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh. the same. Yes. We can Thank use how uh, in the United States. Right. And we can you use got in the United Kingdom. Right. You decide when do you want to use it, right? For us, of course. <laughs> if it is easier for okay, you okay, to okay. say I have to instead of I have got to. Okay. Then you are allowed to do that. Okay. Take All right. It. Okay. Sorry. In, in this area, for example. Ah, okay. In this, in this area. 
No bicycles, it's a prohibition. A uh -huh. it's, it's a, a prohibition. prohibition. You can, uh -huh. you can ride. You can not ride your bicycle in this area. That's right. Yes. Okay. And number seven. Seven is drinking water. Mm -hmm. It's a suggestion. Suggestion. You have to drink drinking okay. water. Oh, uh -huh. you have to. Oh, you have drinking water. You can drink in water every day. If, but that is a permission. If you have to, the doctor can can say that is an obligation. For example, for example, you have to drink a a glass of water a day. Okay. Okay. It's it's an okay. obligation. Uh, uh, and permission, uh, can I stay here to drink some water? Okay. Yes. Yeah. For example. Yeah. Okay. In the age, no playing ball. Hmm? In the age. Uh huh. It's obligation. It's obligation. You have. It's obligation. You work out. You can play football in in the club. Okay. You continue. Yeah. Uh, Elizabeth, please. <laughs> Um, no sé cómo decir, no, es que a mi hija se le cayó el diente y no sé cómo se dice en inglés eso. What happened? A mi bebé se le cayó un diente. Really? Yes. Ooh, which one? A your baby. Um... Mira, mamá. <laughs> Imagino que le duele ahorita. Eh, eh, nunca había botado un diente. ¿Y cuánto es? Eh... Y ya está mayor, ya tiene seis años y medio casi y no le se le habían caído. Oh. Bueno, bueno. Así toca. Así toca. Bueno, ya le van a salir los meros los mero dientes, ya, ya no se va a afligir. <risa> Yes, it is. To take off your shoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I had problem with number two, but I didn't. Your shoes. Ah, uh, I, uh, I see. Esta. The number two, you can't eat or drink in the classroom. You can't eat, drink, no, see, sí. you can't eat or drinking in the classroom. You can't eat or drink. Or drink. Yes, because you have the auxiliary can, so the word doesn't have to change, doesn't have to have anything. It has uh -huh. to be base for it. Or you're not allowed to. <laughs> uh-huh, but in the e final mm -hmm. exam, uh, uh, give us uh, the the modal verb can't right the, and that is that we use we have to use uh -huh. you can or you can't <laughs> can't yes mm -hmm. you can't you're not supposed to <laughs> <gasps> 
100%. Got it. <laughs> she was doing it at the same time. Solo esas dos me faltaban. Okay. But I know. But... Claps. <laughs> es que solo esta clase me faltaba. <laughs> no la entendía, no la entendía. Okay, nice. Awesome. Where do you where do you watch the the platform the, on her cell phone? Yeah. How do you say la nota? The, the grade. The grade. Uh -huh. Because I finished but I couldn't watch my your grade. grades. Mm -hmm. Ya me manda el certificado. <laughs> Yo no los voy descargando. No. No, hasta que termine todo. todo All todo, of them. Hasta que me echen. A collection. Pues sí, voy a llenar uh, o la gaveta o la pared. Y no tengo tantas gavetas y las paredes están ocupadas. No, eh, soy minimalista. Entonces, por eso. Did you finish the exercise? Yes, teacher. Good. Yes, teacher. Easy? Uh, no easy. <laughs> it's, it is no very easy. difficult. Not very easy. <laughs> I know. It a was a, a little bit challenging. It mm. was very difficult for me to understand it. Really? But uh, now I'm so so. <laughs> I got it. Okay. Well, let's see. Let me see what we can use here. Hmm, we're going to use this one. How do you say, teacher? How do you say uh, you have to use the, uh, let me see, the passive bell when the, when the, Airplane va a despegar cuando el, el avión va a despegar. Take off. Take off. Take off. Ok. And the opposite is land. Ok. Aterrizar. Ok. Mm -hmm. All right. The idea was definitely to use uh -huh, permission, prohibition, and obligation, right? using mm -hmm. the modal auxiliary verbs and then of course you have to suggest a place where you might see any of these signs where there's a possibility for you to see these signs yes and i saw that you were doing a great job that is really awesome if you read the instructions and then you understand the instructions, it was kind of easy, right? Write sentences. Of course, it's not necessary that you write. If you want to write, it's up to you. And of course, you are totally free to do it. But the idea is to interact, okay? <laughs> so say where you might see each one, then compare in groups. Of course, you were already working in groups. Okay, the number one, it's already given, right? It's already sold here. It says, number one means that you are not allowed to touch something. And you might see this sign in a gift shop or in a museum. Where else? <clears throat> Where else can you see that? In the number two. The first uh, one. Is there any the other first. place? Is there any other place where you might see this sign? In a museum. It's a prohibition. Uh -huh. You see, you know, not touch. Exactly. You're not supposed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. The control. <laughs> In my house, I put this uh, sign. Hey, hey, you, hey, you, not touch my phone. <laughs> In my bedroom. <laughs> okay. Uh, you might see this sign. <laughs> okay. Uh, not, not, hey, you, not touch my cell phone. <laughs> For your children. <laughs> Yeah. You need this sign printed yeah. and put it there. Okay. Probably, yes, uh, at the zoo, some places, 
yes, that you're not allowed to touch the animals or to feed the animals, right? So you might see this, a similar sign, probably not the same one, yes, but a similar, in a laboratory, right? So, yes. Yes, the second one. What is the meaning of the second one? The second one, you aren't allowed to swim. You are uh, or you're not? You are. You can uh, swim here. Probably it's a safe place hey, to swim, hey, you right? Swimming. You, you are swimming alone. Okay, the name oh. of the yeah, and the name of the sign is swimming aloud. Yeah. That means that yeah. you if you see this sign, you are allowed to swim yeah. there. That oh, the yeah. place is safe for you to swim. Yes? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can say, oh, number two means you are allowed to swim, or you can swim yeah. there. Yes. And where you might see this sign. Where is it possible for you to see this sign? What places? Okay. Swimming pool or in on the, on the pool. places. In touristic the... places, <laughs> on a beach, right? Usually yeah. we don't have signs in the, in the, hotels. the, in the in hotels. hotels. Yes, swimming in pools. You, you swim in the lake? In the, in the, in the lakes. Oh, mm -hmm. you swim in the, in, in the right, in the river. Uh -huh, near the river. Actually, in El Salvador, we don't probably have these signs because the only signs that I have seen, yes, in hotels, in touristic places, in aquatic parks, but in a river or in a lake, if the place is just public, there are no more, I mean, many restrictions, right? Yeah. If you die, your problem. <laughs> Exactly. That's another thing. The only sign I remember I saw in on at the beach was the lifeguard. But at, at 3 30, he left. He said, You're not allowed to swim anymore. And he left. And I'm like, excuse yes. me, I want to see the sunset. What if I can't swim? <laughs> yes, <laughs> I remember. That was not a good experience anyway. So the number three. <laughs> number three. Uh, you yeah. have to wear hard hats. You have to wear. Exactly. This is uh, an obligation. You have an obligation. to or you have got to wear a hard hat, right? And where could you see this sign? Where you might see this sign? Yeah. You have to wear a hard hat. A helmet, right? A hard hat. Where? Mm -hmm. What places? Hard hat. Could you see this sign? In a construction. In a construction, In a construction site. It's uh -huh. obligation. It's obligation. We have it hard is hard. an obligation. It's you obligation. Have to yes. Yes. In other places? What other places? Um, in a construction. Yeah. In a construction site? Uh -huh. Factory. In a factory, yes. In mm -hmm. industries, in right? Factory. In in industries, yes. Yes, in, in any industry. of these industries, factories, or plants, or production plants, in or engineering. electrical plants, and engin engineering sites. In the minery. Uh -huh. In mm -hmm. minery, yes, mm -hmm. you have to. You have to wear this protection right and also probably not the same one but um in the in the in the world <laughs> in the world for the you're army a soldier yes for the <laughs> army it is it is mandatory in also the army. <laughs> also for riding a motorcycle it's a different kind of hat, but uh, riding motorcycles or riding bicycles. It's, it's obligation it motorcycle. It is an obligation. If you don't wear then the police is allowed to give you a ticket because yes. you are putting your own life into risk, right? That's yes. right. The next one, ah, the one I love. <laughs> recycle. You have to recycle. You have to recycle. That is an obligation. Recycle, um, the carton. Separate, recycle. exactly. This different recycle material. Is plastic. Plastic, glass, cans, bottles, right? Mm -hmm. So where can you see the sign? Where you might see the sign? Mm 
-hmm. where uh, some the de uh, discardable dishes disposable uh, dishes yes disposable dishes have that uh, sign yes some uh plastic any, any or plastic. Some yeah. packages, right? Products packages have it also. Some bottles, bottles, some bottles, of those some cartons, boxes, some drinks. The, yes. The, the drinks is metal. metal? Mm -hmm. The can. Yes. The soda, the beer. I'm yes, I'm going to explain this. Can and can. Es el mismo spelling, puede significar. Poder, el yeah. modal auxiliar, o puede significar lata. lata. Okay, yes. <laughs> How contradictory, right? So you can, can. <laughs> can, can. So it's fine. <laughs> yeah, but also you can see this sign in uh, near the parks, probably, where you're supposed, not, I mean, you're supposed to clean or to take care of the green areas, right? or schools, universities, institutions, right, that care for the environment, they also have these signs. So where you are supposed to separate, right, the materials. Number five. Five is... Um, five. You have to use fasten seat belts. You have to, you exactly. Have to, you have to fasten your seatbelts. Fasten means fast, buckle up, right? You have to. Tiene que usar el, el cinturón de seguridad. It's, it's obligation. In the car, it is an obligation, yeah, definitely. You car, have to. You have got to. It's obligation. So, in the cars, definitely. The cars. Mm -hmm. Cars obligation. First, first Where seat. else? In the airplanes. In, in the, the airplane. Uh-huh. What else? In the, uh... In the roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> really? In the huevo mecánico no tienen que llevar seat belts. This is a guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's because it's not safe, right? I think, but I don't know. It should be an obligation. It should. Okay, number six. No bicycles. <laughs> No bicycles. You uh -huh. aren't allowed to ride bicycles. You aren't allowed to ride bicycles. You can't ride bicycles you here, can. right? We aren't allowed. Uh huh. Bicycle. Where can you see that? In parks. In parks. Uh, probably in, parks. in the in the in the in, no no bicycle in high school. In high schools. Mm -hmm. uh, in hospitals, in, the street. In, the hospitals. in all the street, in some parts of the street, <laughs> right? Uh -huh. you Bless you. <laughs> all right. You. In the street, hay, hay, hay different, hay diferentes calles que no pueden manejar en, Different manejar areas, en yes. On the street that you're not allowed yes. to ride bicycles. Si no, ahí se los pueden llevar. Here you're not allowed to use a bicycle for, anywhere. For, for a hockey. <laughs> but there are some streets that are uh, supposed for bicycle that they have an area, color area for oh. bicycles, and the cars park there. Yes. <laughs> Nothing works here. Okay. Yeah. Number seven. Okay. You can you drink can water. Drink your water. You are allowed to drink water. You can drink water here. Where can delicious, you find that? It's delicious water. <laughs> but <laughs> unfortunately, in our country, the water from the tap is not clean. But in other places, it's normal. Here, we have to buy the bottle of water. Otherwise, we don't drink water. Right? <laughs> unfortunately, they have made business of the water. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> and water is supposed to be free for every human being in the world, right? Yes. So where can you find this? Where may you find this sign? It's At the right. university, I remember <laughs> there used to be. If it was clean or not, I don't know. All right. Yes. Okay. And the last one. <clears throat> What is the last one? You can play. You can play. Go. 
ball beer. can't play ball here. You're not allowed, right, to play ball here. Uh huh. Where may you see that sign? Uh, in the hospitals. Mm -hmm. Near the, the hospital, near the hospitals, right? Uh, in the classroom. Uh, mm -hmm. Near the classroom when 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 the students are in class. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Actually, it can be in any place. I think any place where you're not supposed to, right? Sometimes people um, use the green areas that are supposed to be for decoration to play. But then you can put this sign and it says, oh, you're not allowed to play here, right? Because this is just for decoration, right? Probably in your neighborhood, right? Because there are some social areas, but the kiddos or sometimes even adults use these places to play. And then they break the windows or they hit the, in, in the case, doors. In the case, not, play, not playing ball in, in the hospital. Right, because there no, are some areas. Yeah, no play, no playing in malls. In malls near the yes, exactly, in or in factories, right near offices as well. Yeah. No, no playing office. Yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Well, I have some other exercises for you, but I think we don't have enough time. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna continue. Here we have some others, so we have to think about the interpretation. Okay, this one could be this one is negative. You're not supposed to drink. Oh, I have seen the a similar sign. Cuando el agua no es apta para beber, así dicen los letreritos, ¿verdad? So you're not exactly. You can drink from this water. You're not allowed to drink from this water. No pets or pets allowed. Esto también tiene mm -hmm. que ver con uh, pet friendly. Now there are some stores and some shopping malls where they say, oh, it's pet friendly. So you can take your pet there. No pets yeah. in the mall. Uh -huh. And this one could be not taking it. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. And the last one. Photos are allowed or photos are not allowed, right? So we're going to talk depend. about... Uh -huh. The photos depend. In, in a small, no, no. It's prohibition, it's the pictures. Exactly. In some places, businesses, uh, museums, because of the flash. Supermarket. Supermarket. No, 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 no. In hospital, it's, it's allowed. Mm -hmm. It's not allowed? Or it is allowed it's to take allowed. Home. It's not allowed to it's take It's not home. allowed. Exactly. Or in companies because uh, obviously they have to take care of something. The, the, the that paint pictures or videos in, in hospitals, you paint, no problem. <laughs> mm. All right. If it is a, a, a private hospital, probably. But you have to ask for permission, I think. Yes. And if it is, I mean, your song or or your relative, your family, but from another person, you're not allowed, right? Okay, so we're going to keep working with the signs and we're going to work tomorrow as, as well on practicing, okay? So it's time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any questions? <laughs> I don't know. You are allowed to ask questions. <laughs> I'm not allowed. You are. Yes, you are. You are allowed to ask questions. Is there any question? Anything else I can help you with? No, no teacher. teacher. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good night. Bye. Rest. Bye. 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 You. God bless you. Good night. 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 Good